Hi, in this video I want to show you how easy it is to use your uh, Samsung Galaxy S5. This is probably true for the S6. I don't have an S6, but this is an S5. Um, this is probably true for an S4. And for most of the carriers, this one is Verizon. I know it's true. Is that your cell plan comes with the ability to use your phone as a mobile hotspot. So here's how you do that. So in the um, in the settings section, which you can get to in more than one way, for me, I can just slide down from here and click on that little sprocket looking thing up here in the corner. All right, when you get into settings, go down to where it says more networks. And then where it says mobile hotspot, click on that. Move the little toggle up at the top from the off to the on position. Accept the, the uh, little pop-up message. And then here's the important part you need to know. There's going to be a code right here in the middle of your screen that you're going to need. So like when you take your laptop into, say, like a Starbucks or, or wherever you go and you're trying to find a, a Wi-Fi hotspot signal, you know how you click on the little Wi-Fi icon on your laptop and look for the what they call the SSID. Well, the SSID or the network you're looking for is this one on line two. Yours will be different. My, this is specific just to my phone, but your phone will say something right there in line two about what the Wi-Fi and uh, network is going to be. And then you'll need the Wi-Fi password. See there in line three uh, where it's got the, the FNWX? Yours will be different, obviously, but you're going to want that as the password. Once you do, once you connect to that Wi-Fi network and you use that password, you should then have your laptop connected to the internet through your phone. All right, so this will be using your data plan. So you need to watch it a little bit because um, you know if you only have like a one or two gig data plan, you can burn through that pretty fast by just watching a couple of videos. However, if you're just doing some light surfing or email checking, you should be in really great shape. Okay, when you're done with it, there's a couple of things you can do. So let's put, you can still use your phone, you can make phone calls, use your apps, all that. You see how there's that little icon at the top that looks like a picture of a white box with an antenna on it? Well, when you're, when you're ready to shut it off, don't leave it on any more than you need it. When you're ready to shut it off, just slide down again. And when you uh, go back to the sprocket, and then go to more networks, and then go to mobile hotspots, and then just turn it off. And there's other ways to turn it off. That's kind of the long way, um, but there's more than one way to turn it off. But you want to have it turned off when you're not using it as a mobile hotspot because it runs the battery down and you're more likely to, to burn up more data without even realizing it. All right, I hope that helps you out with using your cellular phone as a mobile hotspot. Thanks for watching.